Shalom, Shalom, call hello, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Machak, Wadash, peace and double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Machak, Wadash, to feed the Lord's flock with knowledge and wisdom and understanding. All right, I'm going to go ahead and, and grab this in the book of Isaiah 29 and 16. Lord's will is to be edifying. Isaiah 29 and 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? Right. The your turning of things upside down. Okay. And matter of fact, I got to read the 15th verse. All right. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh from Yahushai, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us and who knoweth us? All right. So the counsel of you elites is coming to the forefront, and now it's to the point where they're rushing to get their new world order together, man. This is the fulfillment of all the prophecies happening at once, what we're seeing right now play out in the earth. And everybody's talking about it, man. Everybody. All right. I was doing the ride sharing today. And, uh, you know, the spirit, I just been itching to do a lesson. You know, I had to grind. I had to work. But the spirit had me pull over and do this lesson, put the uh, get this lesson together. And everybody I've been talking to has been talking about the gas prices, Russia, you know, oh, my God, it's so terrible, this and that. And it's like you really ain't even seen nothing yet. You know? So this is where the, when the going gets tough, the tough get going, as that saying goes, right? So, hey, we're the tough through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahushai because the Lord put the spirit in us to endure through these things. Lord's will, we can continue to do so, all right? There's a lot of brothers and, and sisters out there going through afflictions, all right? That's why we need to pray for one another, all right? But 16th verse again, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. But shall the work say of him that made it, he may be not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? You see? That's how these people think, man. You know, that's why that's how Esau thinks. Because he always want to try to get a one up on them on the most high. As though he's he wasn't a you're a creation of the most high. How are you gonna get a one up on the most high? You're fighting a losing battle. You're trying to push a ten ton boulder up a mountain. You mere mortal. <laughs> All right. Because the Lord put a godlike uh, mindset in us, man. All right. We have immortality starts in the mind of the elect men of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. But they, they believe that though the man, the, the one that framed the entire universe and everything in it. All right. Our heavenly father, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, that he had no understanding. Okay, but your turning of things upside down should be esteemed as the potter's clay. All right, now Revelation 12 and 12, it says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. You see? The devil. All right. El Diablo in Spanish. He's a deceiver, man. The wicked, the so-called white man. All right. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, man. And this is the time we coming in. And a, hey, I'm loving to see it. And I'm and I'm certain that you brothers out there that are sincere, you're also glad and joyous, rejoicing in Yahweh Bashim Yahushua to see these times, man. Because the scriptures say the house of David would get stronger and stronger, and the house of Saul weaker and weaker. So uh, we have to examine ourselves right now because seeing these things. These things that are happening in the earth are going to sh uh, are going to shake everything up, including ourselves. You know, certain brothers may have situations going on to where, you know, these things that are getting ready to happen are going to uh, uh, turn turn these situations that you might have had that was beneficial and bring it to naught. But we still have to rejoice because the hell with this place, man. You know, we'll lose. You know, whatever whatever the Lord requires us to lose in this world, we have to just deal with that, man. Okay? Because this is a, there's a kingdom coming. There's immortality coming. All right? That's a mortal thought to be thinking upon the things of this world. So 
as you know as i was mentioning before the house of david got stronger and stronger so the closer we get to the end we're supposed to continue to to uh increase in strength and faith and wisdom and the knowledge of wisdom and understanding not get weaker because that's a trait of the house of saul all right you know because these things happening these things that are happening in the earth these horrific judgments if a man is not rooted in yahweh shy all right these things will bring terror all right these are terrible times we're coming into man the scriptures talk about ter uh 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 let me let me get the precept real quick it's lock here all right but the devil's coming down with great wrath so that's the time that we're coming into jacob's trouble all right perilous times yep second timothy three and one this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come these are those perilous times that are that were written of everything that we've been begging the lord to make happen now that it's happening we have to keep the same energy all right it wasn't always just going to be us prophesying about things happening and it just never happens no now is the time and it's and, and the scriptures say though it tarry wait for it it will surely come all right for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, bolsters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. Yeah, you, this is an unholy, unthankful generation, man. A blasphemous, proud, wicked generation. And this is this is why there's going to be a great judgment. And I, for one, can't wait, man. I can't wait for you people that we told this truth to to, to have to come to terms with the destruction that's nigh, man. All right. To have to come to terms with your own mortality and even more importantly the mortality of your kingdom america ain't gonna last forever all right we're prophesying against this bitch we're prophesying against mount seer okay as pursuant to ezekiel the 35th chapter mount seer being babylon the great america because wherever you edomites to set up shop it would be called the border of wickedness all right mount seer basra these are all co-words in the scriptures to describe america man because that's the chief seat of Edomite rulership. And now to see that all the things that you people covered after and that you love, to see you lose it all because of your pride and your wickedness, hey, man, I'm, I, all we can do is praise the Lord for that. Because that's a righteous judgment. All right? It says, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers. Yeah, the accuser of our brethren, you know? All right? And there's, they're going to use our people to accuse us incontinent fierce despisers of despisers of those that are good right okay despisers of those that are good those that serve you how by shimmy i was shy traitors heady high-minded lovers of pleasures more than lovers of you how by shimmy i was shy okay heady man you people are proud you people are puffed up you know thinking that you this thinking that you that lovers of pleasure man this 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 uh this wicked kingdom america is all about uh worldly fleshly pleasures man all right we're men so at the end of the day yeah you you know you deal with women and everything has to be done decently in order as long as they're single and as long as you know it's not taking your heart away from you how about shimmy i was shy then hey great but overall as a man of you how about shimmy i shy we're supposed to be geared towards serving the lord not chasing all types of tail, man. Okay? Now, of course, apply the balance. You brothers out there, you know if the Lord, you know when the Lord is dealing, he'll throw you something. He might throw you a couple of nice little things. But at the end of the day, this is not where our, where, where, we don't wake up and pray, ah, Lord, please throw me some, some nice, sweet, fresh pussy. That's not what we wake up in the morning and think about. We pray to the Lord to end this kingdom. All right? We pray to the Lord, how about Shemmy I was to end this wicked ass kingdom? All right? Cause, cause these women, that's not that that ain't that ain't gonna it might satisfy us for a moment, but how about Shemmy How was shot satisfaction is eternal. All right? The knowledge of wisdom and understanding is eternal. The salvation is eternal. The crown of life that we're getting ready to receive is eternal, Lord's will we be those men. So to hell with a woman, you know? To hell with a woman if this if she's gonna come in between us and you and serving you how about shimmy i was shot to hell with that bitch man okay give her that bitch her walking papers and continue to do what we got to do all right and this is how it is with women 
You know, you try to be all into them. They don't they don't like that, man. You know, and as a man of the Lord, you shouldn't like it. We shouldn't like it either. You know, when a man is about his business and it has a, a goal in mind and he, 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 he has a, a passion about something that makes him more attractive. All right. It's good enough to know that women want you. You don't have to act on every single situation. You know, we're the, we're the sons of God, man. We're going to have all that. But we have to put the kingdom first. The kingdom of Yahweh Shem Yahshai, the knowledge, man. Serving the Lord. This is not the time to be lukewarm, man. This is not the time to be lukewarm. Imagine you've been serving the Lord all these years and now things really getting heated up. And this is the time you want to fall out? Come on, bro. You know, and I'm exhorting myself, man. Put up that Psalms 51 and 11. Uh, you know, take not the Holy Spirit from me. You know, brothers are going through afflictions. Brothers are going through a lot of things, man. Pray for us. You know, that this word may come out. Uh, uh, you know, that the word may have free court. Matter of fact, I'll close out with that. One of my favorites. Beautiful. Second Thessalonians 3 and 1. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you. You see? Pray for us. You know, we pray for one another. All right? Because in praying for each other, what, what do we pray for? I pray, pray that the Lord have the spirit on y'all brothers, uh, you know, from the apostles on down to be more on fire than ever. All right? That's a good prayer to put up. I pray that the Akim be more on fire than they ever have been. To continue to serve the in fear and trembling, man. Pray that we be able to continue to serve the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, in fear and trembling. That this word can come out. All right, second verse. It says, and, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. For all men have not faith. And this is what's being revealed in these last days, man. Look at the judgments the Lord got going on, man. All right. Dudes are going to jail. High high profile celebrities are getting bagged. All right. The Lord is moving, man. Judgment's going out. So, hey, we got to take heed of what's going on in the earth and continue to, to, to get down for our crowns, man. To strive for the truth unto death. All right. So this is going to be a quick hit. I'm going to just end it with this third verse. It says, but the Lord is faithful who shall establish you and keep you from evil. And that's what we need. We need to be kept from these evil, wicked times, man. The hour of temptation is nigh. All right. With that, call halal yom la yahawah, b'asham, yahawashai, b'asham, 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 b'asham